Good afternoon and welcome to another one of our special edition style snacks. This week I am going live every day to talk about one of each of the five classic style twists that I have written about on my website. Uh, cute classic, edgy classic, minimal classic, soft classic, and sporty classic. Classic style is timeless, right? Um, but it can feel a little frumpy or dated or stuffy um, for some of us. It's, it's practically perfect, as we talked about yesterday. For some of us, we need to add our own twist to classic style. And the five that I'm sharing with you this week are not the only five variations of classic style. They're just the five that I happen to have written about and um, I, they were all based on women in my life. They were my muses and they were who I was picturing as I was writing about this. This, you could be other variations of classic style um, and mixing one, two, three, four, five of them in varying degrees is how you can come up with your own signature style, which is something that we have talked about the last several weeks. So yesterday we talked about minimal classic style. That's the foundation of it. And today we're talking about cute classic. And the if you've ever had someone say something along these lines to you of, you are so cute, but well, no, cute's not, not the right word. I mean, you are cute, but there's something else too. And I've heard, um, I've heard people say this, something like this as they try to compliment my friend. She is cute as a button, uh, but she's also something else. Cute is a side note. She's classic with a cute flair. She is serious, but with a side of fun, flirty, and light. So um, let's talk about what cute and classic says about you. My mom is cute and classic, and she always jokes that there are two different women living in the same body because she can be so different from moment to moment. When her classic side is in charge, she gets down to business. She is an introvert and she is practical. I used to say that to her like it was such a dirty word when I was a teenager. You are so practical. And I would have to say that now as an adult, I'm probably even more practical than she is. Love it. Um, and I, she has this light side to her though. She can be silly and fun and the life of the very, very small party. <laughs> but that's only when the mood strikes her. Social gatherings really, really stress her out, but she'll talk up a storm and laugh with someone one-on-one. -on -one. She's always friendly, but not outgoing. And she loves sparkles. And I remember growing up, my mom had uh, this thing that she liked to do. She liked to call it her magic money purse. And she, we would go somewhere and she'd be like, let's see what we've got. And she would dig in her purse and there were just cash, just cash stashed all around in her bag. She did not keep her cash in her wallet. She thought it was a fun surprise to see how much cash she had with her. That would make me crazy. But every other things in her life were very orderly and organized. And that was just one spot. She just thought it was fun. And that was her fun side coming out. So ever since childhood, my mom has had a classic minimal capsule wardrobe because that's what she wanted. She chose it. And um, it just came naturally to her. It felt good to her. 
but sometimes that feels a little too serious and heavy and she likes to lighten it up without seeming silly or childish because that's not her either. She's a fun combination of both. And if it helps, you know, I know the word cute can throw some of you off, um, but there is a little cuteness to you if you're a cute classic or you have a, an element of cute classic, but you can also think of it as classic light. Just a little lighter and less serious than straight up minimal classic. Minimal classic can feel a little too rigid, a little too hard and harsh, and you need to lighten it up. Diet classic, I don't know, what, what, that's another word that we can call that, but I hope that lightness um, helps you see where we're going. And I know several of you who've taken the quiz are like, cute, no, 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 I am not cute. And then you read this um, blog post that I've written about this and you read the description, you're like, okay, no, yeah, I am, I give it. That word cute kind of derails you. So listen in, let's see if this suits you. And even if it doesn't, listen anyway, because if you're not cute, you need to know what details to avoid and not inadvertently bring into your wardrobe and then feel off somehow. So if you love to dress cute classic or classic light, it's the subtle details that will tell the story. Look for lightweight fabrics, floral prints, polka dots, hearts, sequins, glitter, sparkles, circles, bows, and ruffles. That probably sounds like too much if you are a minimal classic at heart, but just keep listening and I'll show you how to make it perfect for you. So your keywords are light, round, shiny, and fun. Lightweight fabrics are going to be your friend. They can include chiffon, lighter, softer washes of cotton, knits, linen. Instead of a really structured, stiff, broadcloth cotton button-up, you might prefer a thinner cotton that still holds its shape, but isn't so rigid. Not flowy, not baggy, definitely not floppy, just lighter in actual weight and visual weight. You'll want to avoid bulk as that will make you feel suffocated. And when you combine heavier weight fabrics with lighter options, that combination can feel perfect. If you're having, if you wear too much light fabric, you might feel like you're floating away. If you're wearing jeans, you might want a lighter weight top. Going with too much lightness in your fabric can make you feel ungrounded and too much structure and stiffness can feel like a straight jacket. So when you're getting dressed, ask yourself, do I feel weighed down in this? You might want a little bit of stretch and give because if you feel too restricted, that can feel smothering. Floral prints are great for you because they speak of summer fun and vacations. They make us think of a tropical getaway or a garden party. Flowers are happy and bright and make everyone smile. Larger scale florals with distinct crisp lines rather than a fuzzy or hazy uh, outline will probably feel best for you. And you might love mixing floral prints and stripes together as a perfect um, classic and cute combo. If you love florals, and, but they feel over the top, try it in a smaller dose. Fruits are actually flowers that have become edible and they count in this category as well. They're whimsical. And if you want, uh, we'll look at some um, examples of this um, at the end. So stick around for the pictures. Polka dots are basically bubbles <laughs> and bubbles are lighter than air. They are a really easy print to find in a variety of items and colors and quantities and they're easy to mix and match in a classic wardrobe. A crisp polka dot button up or pencil skirt adds a little fun to an office wardrobe. And so you can still be taken seriously at work 
and show that you have a lighter, more fun side. Polka dot shorts or a knit tee is perfect for a casual look, but you'll probably be happier if the polka dots are uh, a little larger in scale and lined up symmetrically instead of random. That's too much fun. You want your polka dots to be orderly and neat. Circles are empty polka dots and they can be a pattern in your clothes, but they can also come into your outfit in other ways as well. So consider the shape of your jewelry like classic hoops or links in a necklace, the round toe of a shoe, grommets in a shirt. And the circle pattern um, is it's shaving the the sharpness and the edges off of your minimal classic foundation. Hearts are also sweet and light and another great pattern that can be a subtle nod or a shout, depending on how you wear it. Something as small and subtle as a heart-shaped earring or a pendant necklace are great ways to bring in um, that pattern. Or you can wear um, a pattern blouse. S sequins, glitter, and sparkles are all light, reflective, shiny, and the ultimate cute detail. My mom loves shiny, sparkly shoes and accessories, but the key is to keep it on a smaller scale in a small quantity so you don't give off more cute than classic and you don't feel childish. Shoes and jewelry are a great place to bring in some sparkle and shine. My mom loves her two cute shoes. She has said that for as long as I can remember. So, you know, she dresses a uh, business professional for her job, pencil skirts, blazers, nice blouses, black, red, white, solids. Sometimes she'll bring in a little pattern, but she always wears her two cute shoes with her more serious outfit. And that's exactly what she needs to lighten it up. Dressing cute with bows, pleats, ruffles, and gathers add a little sweetness to an item and are perfect on a small scale, like on a purse, a sleeve, or a neckline, as long as they're not so big that they overwhelm you or ruin the classic cut of your clothes. Gathered sleeves can create lift or a flutter um, and that's just a little lightness, lifts the whole thing up. And you can, you might love a neat structured bow on your shoes or on a bag, but it can't be floppy or droopy um, or overly embellished or it won't feel right to you. If you're looking for a fun animal print, think zebras. Zebras are zany and wild, but not dangerous. I mean, zebras don't eat people, right? So you can also choose the elusive uh, leopard or cheetah to um, add into your outfit. To you, it might feel a little bit like polka dots. And I'll say right here, every classic style twist can wear leopard. It's all about how you pair it what you wear it with, and sometimes what the leopard pattern looks like, or maybe the colors it comes in. But um, you can also look for a neat bow on a round toed flat of leopard shoes to bring in that cuteness and uh, soften that up. Color combinations are something that you love to play around with. So you, if you have a, a cute twist, you're more likely to wear more color and um, combine more of them. And certain color combinations can feel more fun. So um, if you love pink, then try pairing it with navy instead of black to kind of take the sharpness and edge off of, of what is a really great minimal classic color combination. With your jewelry, look for shiny, blingy, round, lightweight, maybe slightly jingly if you're really in a party mood, but in general, you're gonna wanna stay away from the jingle jangle. Keep your jewelry light and bright. 
a circle pendant necklace, hoop earrings, diamond studs, a circle link necklace, beads, pearls, and maybe even a charm bracelet, if it's not too noisy and distracting for you, are all good options. And this is also a great place to bring some color into your outfit, especially if you want to bring in a second color. Your shoes will probably make you happiest if they have more of a rounded toe, which um, that's actually a half circle, right? And also because they're more comfortable. As an edgy classic, I'm more likely to sacrifice comfort for style. But as a cute classic, you don't want anything to ruin your fun, like pinched toes or super high heels that are hard to walk in. Shoes are a great place for the shine, sparkle, and bling because it's a small dose of fun, where um, otherwise, in a larger part of your outfit, it could feel overwhelming. Patent leather, jewel details, glitter, bows, and sequins can all make your shoes feel cute and fun, but it's not so much that you feel like an eight-year-old. And so if you ever stray into the territory where you just you feel childish, you've gone too far. And you probably want to take something off or remove a detail and swap it out for something uh, more classic and minimal. Your makeup is another way to keep it light. You may prefer a more neutral, natural eye makeup look and bring the fun with a bold lip or keep it all clear um, and light. And you can add a little highlighter to your cheeks for a shimmer, but stay away from glitter on the face. That's probably going to be too much for you. Your hair won't be too severe. You probably enjoy curls and styles that are a little more youthful. That could be a pixie with some curl or wave, long curls or anything in between but probably nothing that covers your face um, like a really heavy bang. A straight, smooth hairstyle might be too severe for you with a blunt cut. And um, well, unless you want to balance it with other cute details in your look that day, but you might want just a little, um, a little curl, a little bounce, a little lightness in your hair. So wait a second, you might be asking yourself, um, where's the classic? <laughs> None of that sounded classic. Well, this is coming in in the details. The classic is in the style and the fit of your clothes. Classic includes the details we talked about yesterday, like the structure and the tailoring um, and the styles of clothes that you're wearing. But you're adding in just a little bit of these cute details with an overall classic look that add a whisper of fun. If you're screaming and shouting your fun, then um, and it and it feels uncomfortable, then you you probably need to dial it back. So your favorite striped Breton tee might have a peplum waist or bell sleeves or a little gather in the shoulders. Instead of a pencil skirt, you might like a structured fit and flare. And button ups might be a thinner cotton with a polka dot pattern and a roll tab sleeve. You might enjoy a finer stripe, narrower stripe than a bolder, wider stripe. You can add some cuteness to your um, black shoes with a round toe, maybe a bow detail, maybe some shine, and um, throwing on some colorful beads or some kind of fun, uh, playful. Playful is another great word to think about when you're, um, when you're considering your details. So you may still prefer more solid colors, keeping the patterns in a smaller dose and keep the cute from consuming you. You have, it's a balance. So let's look at a few um, examples, but first I want to address a question that I hear a lot. Are you ever too old to dress this way? And the, it's very common for women to uh, 
pass a certain birthday and suddenly decide that they're not allowed to be who they are anymore or dress the way they love anymore. And um, do I have to, to grow up now and stop being a little silly or stop wearing glitter because it's too juvenile? And the answer is no, you don't. No, you're never too old to be who you are and to dress who you are. So if cute and fun and a lighter version of minimal classic is who you are, then it's more like a public service announcement to represent it in your style. Think of it as truth in advertising. You might be a hummer, you might hum under your breath a little bit, you might have a purse full of glitter or a magic money purse, <laughs> like my mom. You might be an accountant who bedazzles her calculator, but um, wears black rectangle glasses and a black suit and a white blouse to work every day. But that calculator, it's telling your secret. So reaching a certain birthday doesn't change who you are. And you won't suddenly all overnight become the type of person who is always serious and in charge. So why should you be expected to change your style to reflect something you're not just because of the number of candles on your cake? So let's look at a few of these examples. And I would love to know in the comments what if any of this resonated with you, if it was like listening to a description of yourself, or if you were like, well, this actually absolutely confirms that I am definitely not a cute <laughs> or classic light. Um, let's look at, Reese Witherspoon, love Reese. She is such a great, cute classic. And this outfit is the perfect example. She's got um, a sleeveless button down shirt on, but you can see that the fabric is a little thinner and lighter. Um, it, uh, it doesn't stand up as stiffly as some of the other thicker cottons do. She's wearing a structured pencil skirt and you can see that that fabric is very structured, but she's got a great large print floral. She's wearing um, a, a really nice structured bag and lightweight jewelry. And she, I mean, this is just such a perfect example. I mean, no one's gonna accuse her of looking childish. She just looks fun, right? A friendly, approachable, but not uh, silly, if that makes sense. Oh, this is a great example. So here she is wearing a blazer and uh, she's got structured jeans on. She's got very minimal structured heels on. Um, her bag is nice and structured, but she's got this great fruit print blouse and a large, bold fruit print. She even has a little uh, floral charm on her bag, and she's brought in some extra color in her red shoes and her bag. So, I mean, this is overall a very structured classic outfit in the lines, in the cut, in the types of clothing that she's wearing but she's brought in that lightness, um, that little bit of fun, that whimsy with the, the fruit pattern and the little floral charm on her bag. Let's look at another example. Um, so this is a blogger named Kelly in the city. She is so adorable. I just want to squeeze her a little bit, but not childish. So she's got on this great structured A-line navy dress in a very classic silhouette, right? That skirt um, is could stand on its own. Maybe if she took that dress off, it would 
it would stay stay upright. <laughs> it's a very structured dress. But she has this fun rickrack pattern at the neckline and on the skirt. It's in a very minimal color palette of the navy and the white. And then she's got those cute um, tassel earrings on that I guarantee you they're beaded and lightweight. And she brought in a splash of color with her red heels that are also very structured and um, minimal classic in style. But she's brought in just a few of these fun details. Overall, it's a very classic look with a hint of fun. Here's Reese again wearing a classic crew neck sweater, classic dark wash jeans, a great structured navy bag, minimal classic color palette. She's wearing navy and white, but she's got that great large floral print on the shoulders um, of her sweater. And this is just another great, even her sunglasses are a very um, structured classic Wayfarer style. And it's just, it's just overall classic with um, a little bit of her whimsical side. Here's another one of Kelly. Um, she's got on the navy blazer. Doesn't get more classic than that. A classic pair of jeans, some navy booties that are very streamlined, a classic crew neck sweater and tote. But can you see what is on her sweater? It's a dachshund. She has a, a, a doxy and she, uh, she loves them. And that's a pattern that she really loves an animal print. This is a different way to bring in an animal print. It doesn't have to be like a zebra or giraffe or whatever. She's literally put an animal on her sweater and that's adorable without being childish, right? Um, so this is a super classic outfit and that one detail adds a little fun and whimsy. And then she's got on a classic pearl stud earring. So this is an outfit where for some of you, this could be treading into too cute. And for some of you, it might be okay. It really depends on the ratio of cute to classic. So she, <clears throat> she's got on the classic white jeans, right? Um, and her top is a knit and it's got an all over very large floral pattern in many bright colors. That might be too much color, that might be too much pattern, that might be just too much for some of you, and it might be, depending on the day, just right. You might be feeling extra fun and festive, you might be going to a party, and that extra um, amount of fun on that day for that moment could be perfect. And if you don't have as much cute in you, this might be too much because she's also got the sandals on, happen to know what sandals these are and they've got a lot of you see it's got the round part at the toe it's got um, a half scallop edge and then it's got uh, cutouts that also make floral patterns so and then she's got the round um, ball earrings for some of you the sandals and the earrings might be all the cute you can handle and for others the top might be just what you need but this is one of those cases where if you're feeling overwhelmed by it, you might, and you really want to wear the shirt, you might go with a more classic sandal and maybe um, an earring that's a little more um, linear. Let's 
Let's look at one more. So this picture of Reese, she's got the classic jeans, classic crew neck sweater, classic button up, and it's even buttoned all the way to the top, which is, um, you know, even more structured. But if you look closely at her shirt, it's not even polka dots. Those are hearts. They're heart polka dots. But do you see that they're evenly spaced? Everything is um, lined up. Even on her collar, they're perfectly lined up. She's wearing a very classic structured navy bag. She has on uh, little pearl stud earrings, it looks like, and then um, a bracelet that has some circles on it and then a very structured classic watch on her wrist. And so she just brought in a peak of this fun pattern to an overall very classic outfit. So we'll send out um, an email to um, access the blog post where all of this is. You can see it um, all written out and there are more um, pictures on that blog post that you can see with descriptions of how this is cute classic. Um, but I want to know if this resonated with you. If you, it's, you know what, actually I want to show you one more, one more example. This one. So here's Kelly again, wearing an adorable A-line um, shift dress. It's, I mean, it's so classic right after she had her baby and it's black and white, but do you see that the polka dots are not symmetrical? They're not placed, uh, they're random. Like somebody threw a bunch of circles at her dress and they landed wherever and the circles may not even be perfect circles i, I can't tell um, from here but for some of you that could be great and for others of you it might be uh walking around in an anxiety dress like you just want to line them up and straighten them out and why 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 won't you all just be where you're supposed to and then she's got the cute pink classic um flats, a delicate chain necklace. Her bracelet has circles on it. And I can't see if she's wearing any earrings, but that pattern, that's a lot of cute, especially because the polka dots are not lined up. And so that might be too much for some of you, or it might be just as, um, all the fun you need that day and, and perfect. So there really is a scale and it's going to depend on you and nobody else. Um, nobody else gets to decide how much cute you wear or how much classic you wear. And there's no right answer. The only right answer is what do you like? What do you feel great in? How do you feel when you put it on? Um, if you feel silly or childish, I, it's too much. If you feel light and happy, then you've got enough. If you feel too rigid and um, structured, then you need to add some. And it's all about you and nobody else. And um, learning that balance, and it can vary from day to day, what you need and what you don't. So learning that balance is, um, it takes some practice and some time, but it really does change uh, how you feel and how you walk around on this planet and how you represent yourself and how other people perceive you. So, you know, we've talked a lot over the last year about making up your own fashion rules, about your, uh, what is your walking billboard, right? And what message are you putting out there through your appearance? And you can change how people perceive you and treat you by um, dressing in a way that reflects who you really are. So I hope this was really helpful that learning more about 
um, cute classic style or classic light was um, inspiring or um, whether it's for you and you want to learn more about it or whether this just confirmed that. Mm -mm. Um, and so an example, I, I mentioned this briefly yesterday when we talked about minimal classic. I kept buying and wearing polka dots because I thought I had to. Polka dots are classic. I like classic clothes. That means I have to like polka dots. And I don't like polka dots or pearls on me. They're just too light and I'm not a light person. I'm a very serious, practical person. My mom loves to point that out. <laughs> She's more fun than I am. Um, so uh, that is an example of how just because one thing is classic doesn't mean it's perfect for you, even you are classic. So let's take a look at the comments. Janet says, oh, wow, classic light. Great way to think about it. I'm glad that is helpful. <laughs> I had a hard time going to sleep last night. My brain was, it keeps me awake at night. And I sat up and I sent myself a message. Just suddenly classic light kind of came into my head. Courtney says, I love the description classic light. I'm so glad. Um, oh, Patty, I see your message. You're okay. <laughs> Another Facebook user says, I'm only 20% cute and I see cute in my jewelry. I wear silver hoops every day and most of my pendants are circular. So you can, you can, yeah, I mean, that's great. That's maybe that's all the cute you need. You can wear hoops. Any minimal classic or any classic style twist can like and wear hoops. They're, they're minimal also. But I like, I personally, as an edgy classic, I, and I could, I have, I used to, I, I used to have hoops that I wore a lot, but I realized that there are other shapes I love better. Um, so all of you can wear hoops, just you're, they're perfect. They're really great for, for the cute classics. One of you says, I didn't get cute on the quiz, but I relate to some of this. Color combos, small amounts of polka dots, flowers, and round toed shoes. Well, I'll say it again. The quiz is not perfect and it's not meant to diagnose you. It's uh, supposed to be fun and helpful, but it's, it's just a thing. So just because the quiz doesn't say it doesn't make it not true. And just because the quiz does say it doesn't make it true. So if you get a result and you're like, no, then ignore it. Just ignore it and read these posts and see if anything or, you know, show up for these lives this week and see what does resonate with you. And um, yeah, so just because it didn't show up on your quiz doesn't mean you don't have any cute in you you clearly know that you do. And so I hope that you can use uh, this information to try that on. And next week we're doing our um, style twist challenge with the shop your closet challenge. And that will be a great opportunity for you to experiment with incorporating that classic style twist element into your outfits next week and see how it feels. And if you haven't joined, the the uh, the challenge. You can go to stunningstyle.com forward slash the twist. I think so. We'll put the link in here and um, join the challenge. There'll be an outfit every day, an inspiration outfit. You shop your closet to make the outfit work for your climate, for your personal preferences, for what you have in your closet and try incorporating your classic style twist. This is not about going out and buying new clothes. No, 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 We're using what we've got and we're playing. We are playing in our closets. This is fun. And it all happens in the Capsule Wardrobes for Classic Style Facebook group. Um, every day when you register for the challenge, if you share an outfit in the group, then you get registered to win a $100 gift card from Kendra Scott. I just love her jewelry and she has something for every twist out there. Every color, doesn't matter what metal you love. Um, she's got the color bar where you can customize your pieces to the colors and metals that you want. 
super high quality. I have several, several things from her and I love them. So Janet says, your explanation is making this all come together for me. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad. Debbie says, so now I understand why cute shows up so closely on the quiz to my edgy twist. Not all of it is hearts, bows, sparkles, etc., which I do not like. It's just lighter. Never considered you could mix these two, but it works for me. Debbie, I'm so glad this was a helpful, um, a helpful explanation. Yes, it's just lighter. It's just taking some of the sharpness and rigidity out of minimal classic because minimal classic is pretty rigid. I can say that because I am right. Um, and it just lightens it up a little bit, you know, it's like the angel food cake to the devil's food cake. You know, it's lighter, spongier, <laughs> squishier, doesn't sit in your stomach so heavy. Christine says, I like a bit of whimsy some days too much cute makes me uncomfortable. And, and learning that balance is uh, important. And, and when you feel it, you know, switch something out. Um, Debbie says, this explains why I always feel that I need to lighten up my minimalist wardrobe. A light bulb moment. Thank you, April, for helping me to understand myself. Well, you're welcome. And adding just that little bit of lightness can make all the difference. And it can take that practically perfect style and wardrobe and make it, I was born to wear this. Patty says, I do love thin lines instead of wide, bold stripes. Purged so many before I figured it out. I like lightweight tops with jeans, no sparkle or glitter. I like bold circles and small dots <coughs> I have been purged so many times. I also purged my fruit prints. I like small prints best. Micro prints are my favorite. So, You'll learn more about that on Thursday. Laura says, my 20% cute comes out more on the weekends when I can be more casual. Also, my cute comes out in small prints, jewelry, and shoes. Um, so, Laura, maybe you work um, in a place where you feel like bringing out, you know, your cute side would, would interfere with your job. But... Um, I, and I understand why you bring it out more on the weekends because you're having more fun on the weekends. But I hope you can see that if you want to, there are ways that you can bring it into your work wardrobe as well. But maybe it does just work best for you on the weekends when you feel like you can take a breath, right? But bringing it in during the week might make the week more tolerable at the same time. Jennifer says, I love Kelly in the City. Oh, I do too. I've followed her for years. She's just just so cute. I just love her. I love her blog posts. I love her outfits. She makes me want to wear a dachshund on my shirt, but that would be a very bad idea for me. It's perfect for her. All wrong for me. Melody says, how am I going to pick the twist? I don't like the Reese look at all, but love color and sparkle. How does that work with edgy? Melody, we're going to talk about that in the society. Um, after the spring guide is released, you have a few weeks to figure it out. Facebook user says, I see my cute classic when I dress to go out with friends for having fun. Doesn't happen so much these days, unfortunately. Most days I'm minimal sporty because of my casual lifestyle, my need to be comfortable and move throughout the day. So yeah, I know we don't get to do much fun outside the house these days, but this will end. And when it does, you'll have nailed your cute classic style and you'll be ready to go out that way. The Reese look would be very different if she didn't have the large prints. Oh, absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. And we'll see in other style twists what that looks like throughout the week. Another Facebook user says, oh, where'd you go? Sorry, it bumps. Uh, love the concept of figuring out ratio of comfort with cute. Yeah, <clears throat> and I can't give you a formula because each one of you is unique and individual and what you love 
or don't love is going to be um, all you. So it really is just figuring that out for yourself. Christine says, I feel a bit of whimsy some days, but if I ever do cute, I feel clownish. Mm -hmm. That feeling is how you know you've overdone it. Cute classic here, love Kate Middleton style. Oh, she is a perfect example of a cute classic. Perfect. And her style is fabulous. <clears throat> but she's a minimal classic at the core. It's just in the details that she brings in the cute. An another user says, this is so me. I love Kelly in the City and Reese. Well, I'm so glad. And I would love to know what your big aha moment was today. Leslie says, I like Sparkle, the shiny sling blacks you sh sling backs you showed in the unboxing, but I don't like polka dots. You can like shiny. Shiny and sparkly are not the same thing. You can like shiny and not like sparkle. I like shiny. I'm not as much into the sparkle. And like I don't, I don't do glitter. I can do sequins in certain ways like formal wear um but shine like shiny patent shoes that minimal classics love that so um that could be where that's coming in and you don't have to like polka dots to be a cute classic you're allowed to like only some of the things it, it's not an all or nothing thing um i don't like all the things of minimal classic or edgy classic I like the things I like. So you get to cherry pick which elements are you and which ones aren't. <clears throat> Cute classic. No glitter sparkles, bows, or pleats, but polka dots symmetrically placed. Yes, that's a perfect example. Thank you. Mom one says, little bit of cute for me, I think. Before kiddos, I wore more cute. Yeah, I mean, that's going into the whole mom syndrome. We've um, we've talked about that a lot in the last year and how some a life changing event like having children can make you uh, question your identity and your style and everything you ever knew about yourself. Um, and maybe you let it go because you felt like I have to be a grown up now. I'm the mom. There's no more room for that in my life. And maybe you feel smothered. So that's something to think about. Janet says, I'm ready for a metamorphosis. Well, Janet, this is going to be fun. I can't wait to be part of it. Robin says, in taking the twist test, it kept coming up with cute, and I've never thought of myself as cute, but with the description of light and playful, I see where it resonates for me. Thank you for the detailed description. Well, you're welcome, and I'm really glad that resonates with you because I know that word cute, some of you automatically flip the switch and go, oh, Mm -mm. No, I'm not cute. Puppies are cute. No. We all have words like that, right? Um, so I'm really glad that this helped. Anne says, I was surprised when I came out in the test with the degree of cute that I did. Now I understand it. Yes, classic light makes sense. Thanks, April. Well, you're welcome, Anne. I'm glad. A Facebook user says, yes, this helps to embrace my cute side in small doses. Thank you. I'm so glad. Mirka says, my small amount of cute shows as circles, hoop earrings, rounded studs, polka dots, zebra pattern, and a bit of shine or sparkle. I need to be careful not to wear too much or too many and let my minimal and edgy sides rule. With your help, I've realized this and become better at it. Thank you, April, for the great work you do. Well, thank you, Mirka. I appreciate that. And I've loved seeing how, you know, watching as you've learned to balance all three of those. Mirka is a great example of someone who needs all three in the right ratios. And that can change from day to day um, to feel just right. Because just one or just two and, and she's off balance. But when she adds the right amount of the third, she can breathe again. Deanne says, so looking forward to spring so I can wear fun florals, print scallops and polka dots, lines up with my style twist quiz. Actually would have been disappointed if I landed anywhere else. Well, like I said, the quiz is just um, a tool. It's imperfect. And if it doesn't line up with what you think, then just ignore it and go with what feels right to you. Sandra says, struck me as right on. Well, good. 
Michelle says, I redid the quiz today. Seems I am 27% cute and sporty and 20% edgy. That sounds about right. Well, I'm glad that was helpful. Another user says, classic light, such a good definition, thanks. Well, you're welcome. Dan says, winter has been a challenge. Winter is a challenge for cute classics because um, everything's heavy because we're cold, right? It's a hard season for you to, to dress the way you feel best. Mom Juan says, as far as my personality, it always has to be fun, but I don't wear floral polka dots or ruffles. Shiny, sparkly, I love. Yeah, it will really just depend which of those elements feels good to you. These are all options like a buffet. And they're all options that you can use to create your outfits. And you get to pick and choose which ones actually feel great to you. Uh, this is so me. I'm 67% cute classic. I love all these examples. I have to have color every day. That was Rose. Thanks for putting your name, Rose. Um, Michelle says probably why I've struggled to find my niche. I have an almost even split in these three categories. Well, getting an even split, trying an even split of these details in your outfit might be where you feel perfect. So you can join the style twist challenge at stunningstyle.com forward slash twist that I think I said the right link before, but if I didn't, that's the real one. Amy says, actually, I like an almond toe more than rounded. Is that cute? Um, it can be minimal. Almond can be minimal. And, and you can like rounded toes as a minimal. I cannot wear almond or rounded toes because of my edgy side. I need stabby shoes, stabby pointed toe shoes. And so that's my edgy side taking over. But um, the almond can also be in the minimal. But it can be... Um, it can be cute, just not quite as cute, right? Gail says, I can definitely relate to your examples. Very helpful. I realize I need to lighten up a bit, too serious sometimes, and I use my clothes to do that. 50% minimal and 20% cute. Well, Gail, I look forward to watching you experiment with this and see how lightening up your outfits feels. Jill says, this is me. Well, I'm glad. Kim says, I can see the lighter. I still cringe when hearing bows, glitter, and hearts. Yeah, so Kim, it doesn't have to be the bows, glitter, and hearts. It can just be the lightness, the more color, um, the color combinations. Um, it doesn't have to be all the things. They're just options available to lighten up your, your minimal classic. Tina says, hi, April. She's not classic, but one of my favorite celebrities with a cute twist is Gwen Stefani. Not a look that I could emulate with my lifestyle, but she marries cute and edgy amazingly. Oh, I know. We all have a crush on Gwen, right? And uh, in her earlier days, she also brought in a lot of the sporty too. Um, <clears throat> but she does bring in some of that minimal sometimes. But yeah, no, Gwen is fabulous. Hi, April Barb here. Could patterns in the Jones New York and Calvin Klein tops be considered cute? Uh, Barb, I would I would have to see the patterns on the tops. Um, but if they're rounded, then yes. Shanna says, this is so helpful. I only had 7% cute. I love polka dots and small patterns. I think it's the artsy in me. Nice to know you can have more than one style at a time. Absolutely. And having more than one is what makes your signature style because you're not just one thing, are you? We are all um, multifaceted, dimensional, you know, complex beings and you can lean heavily into one and you can even lean completely into one. But for a lot of you, finding, pulling in those different elements in the right amounts is what's going to help you figure out your signature style. And even if you do lean just heavily into one, like a few of you yesterday were like, no, I am all all minimal classic. Well, your 100% minimal classic 
is going to look different than another one because you will like and be drawn to different elements in that than someone else and how you put that together will look so will look different so you know you're all um it's going to look different for each one of us and that's why you know in the society sometimes people are like oh you guys just all go in there and you dress exactly the same and you're all clones of each other or clones of april no 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 not even close we all look so different in our classic style, in our versions of classic style. So different. It's so fun to see how one inspiration outfit can turn out so different for each one of us. And that's what you'll see in the Style Twist Challenge next week that, you know, you'll each have the same inspiration outfit, but based on shopping your closet your weather, your personal preferences, and incorporating your classic style twists, you will all wear the same outfit so differently that if we all went to a party together, someone might notice a common theme in the colors, but they wouldn't be like, and you all wore the same outfit today, didn't you? Mm -mm. It's so much fun. I hope you join us. Register at stylestyle.com forward slash twist. And then the first outfit comes out Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time to give you time to shop your closet that day and then you'll wear it on Monday. And um, it's so much fun. It's it's one of our very favorite things we do each season. And this time there's a new twist. Get it on the shop your closet challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. This has been so much fun. I love doing these style snacks with you. Tomorrow, we will be talking about edgy classic. And whether you believe you have any edgy in you or not, I encourage you to join us because you might be surprised and find you do have some, or it might confirm to you that you definitely don't. And then you'll know what details to stay away from because you don't want to pull any edgy in and wonder why your outfit feels off. So we'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time to do edgy classic. I look forward to seeing you then. I apologize if I missed your comment. Um, I don't, they don't always show up for me while I'm live. And then when I'm gone, they pop up and I'm like, where are you? And um, also my comment feed goes really fast and I have to scroll back up to find where I was and sometimes I land in the wrong place. So if I missed your comment, I apologize. It was not intentional and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a happy Tuesday and a wonderful rest of your day.